Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst from Go Markets, Adam Kahlberg. So we're going to be having a look at Ethereum. Um, and in recent times, Ethereum has seen a little bit of a spike, even relative to its big brother, Bitcoin. Now, this has largely been on the back of a little bit of improved sentiment within the equities market and specifically the growth sectors, of which these both these cryptocurrencies tend to follow quite closely. Now, as we move over to the charts, we can have a look and see that firstly, we're going to have a look at the weekly um, Ethereum US dollar chart. So just bear with me. And this is a really good pairing just to see the overall strength of Ethereum. So what we notice is that first and foremost, we've had this bottom put in at about $821. And we haven't been able to break through there, which has been a really positive sign. We can also see that this bottom has been reflected on the RSI. And we've got somewhat of a divergence over here on the RSI. As you can see, we've got a little period of a consolidation. Um, and similarly, we haven't been able to break through this low of the RSI at um, 35 or 40 rather. So hopefully what we see is either some more consolidation before a breakout perhaps to the upside. Now, as we have a look at the actual candlestick chart, what we can see is again, there's been this bottom, similar kind of bottom, almost a double bottom formation. Although of course we need to see this break through the neckline, but then go up. Um, but at the very least, we've got some coiling of the price where we haven't, especially around here. Um, we'll just zoom in a little bit further. Just bear with me guys. As you can see, um, these candlesticks here, are very wicky at the bottom. And quite small, which indicates to us that there hasn't been able to be, there hasn't been a lot of selling pressure at this point. And whenever it has, it's been well supported by the buyers. Similarly, last week we saw a really nice spike in volume and in price, um, which indicates that the sellers have hopefully been exhausted at this point. And that's a really important thing to remember. So as we can see, we've got this kind of um, neckline at two thousand and sixteen dollars, which is potentially a first target. In addition, some things we want to note are that we're just sitting on the 200 week average, which is of course our long term media, uh, mean. Um, and it is starting to plateau um, even after it was in a, a very, very, very slight decline, but it's starting to plateau. Similarly, we'll get rid of this so we can see our 50 week moving average is also starting to potentially flatline as well, which is a very positive sign. Now what we're going to do is, sorry, just bear with me again, guys. We're going to make this into the daily chart just to get a bit of a better idea. Reset that up to the time scale we want. And again, you can get a much better example of what we've seen. So as I stated, um, we've got this double bottom pattern forming or that coiling. And you can see it a little bit clearer here. That first target, of course, is this point here at the neckline at about $2,030. The other thing is that, as you can see here, we've started to see an uptick in the 50 day moving average. Whilst we are still below that 200 day moving average, hopefully we can test that out and potentially go back up. But that's really our short term kind of a short term target at that neckline if we wanted to go long, which is really positive. Um, although we don't have a perfect entry yet, so we might be looking at a stop loss at around here. At that kind of low, which gives us almost a two um, a stop loss at two. And again, if we have a look at the RSI, we've had this nice breakout, potentially another consolidation before a move above, and then maybe a pullback. So that's our uh, kind of our specific look at Ethereum, which has been moving quite well. Now, you may ask, well, why don't we just do this with Bitcoin? And that's a really good question. And if we look at Bitcoin, um, just bear with me, we'll change this to Bitcoin. Bitcoin USD. And what we can see on Bitcoin is we don't have that same kind of level of buying that has come in yet. And maybe um, Bitcoin is still bottoming out. There's a lot more, um, there's a lot more flow to get through. And right now, Ethereum is just the better option if you wanted to go long. And we can also see this by looking at a Bitcoin and Ethereum price um, our double here. And what you can see is that Bitcoin's become quite weak, especially in that last 
in that last seven days right here. And that's a really interesting signal, which shows that relative to its general performance, and we can almost say that this general performance is what I'll do is I'll make this the daily chart just so we can get that 50 moving average. As you can see, we're below this mean, um, both the long term and the short term mean, which says to us that in the last week or so, Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin. And that's why it may be a really good option going forward. So as I said, we'll, as we look back one more time at this Ethereum chart, definitely some opportunities are popping up, especially if we can take out 2037. But even if not, um, it's a good point, a target to aim if you want to go long. And also, if we can cross through this 200-day um, average, that would be a really good sign as well. But there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video on Ethereum and good luck trading.